so how long are they gonna be? That side. So we're getting them to go as long as to my feet? Yeah. Can you, like, help me with this? Get them to straighten out and be the same length? And you need to get the ends even so I can... You need to... We're gonna need three? Yep. Three for each side. Okay. So that's six. We got this rope from Walmart for about, uh, what, $2 to, to something? Three, about three bucks, yeah. Yeah, it's cheaper than the stream we almost got. We were debating back and forth between getting some, like, uh, like, knitting wool, like, material. That was just, already like, black, or we could have just colored this, so we decided to go ahead and color this instead of wasting our yeah. money on the, uh, knitted wool. Dude, this is like stronger. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, it'd probably come to come apart easier. If you pull on it, it's gonna come entirely out of there, just like what hair do in a normal braid because it's flimsy and not very strong, like like the fiber You're in this gonna rope. You're gonna use zip ties to keep this together, aren't you? Zip ties? Yeah, at the end. You're gonna use zip ties, aren't you? Here. Definitely. This end. Kind of keep the tiny things together. You can like back up so we can. Back it up like a Tonka truck. Okay. Yeah, and we can probably, if it, one's longer than the other one, we can probably just like, um, uh, my brain is starting to go down. Um. Yay, confusion! Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, that's homesick for you. Um, we can probably yeah. just oh kind of God. saw it off. Yeah. Also, when you see in movies people like sawing away at these ropes, I now understand why it takes so long. Never yell at them for taking so long to saw these ropes, because it does take a while. Calm down. I do not know this calm down of what you speak. Oh, here comes, a, here comes that part, really cool part, and watch me. And that's the man. That's Freddy Krueger. Yeah, he was on my guy. Like, drop two of those because we're gonna need. Oh shit! You can drop two. I'm never gonna make it in double dutch. No, this is why I never even like jump in. Because we're gonna need three more. So. For the other side. This is why it's a two-person job. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh, you okay? I had a heart attack. Why? It's like watching a wig get tangled up. It's, it's messy. It's rope. It's or easy. Or thread. Thread's the worst. Ah, uh, yeah. Thread tangling? Ugh. Makes you think that you're gonna die of a heart attack because you can never get the thread undone. Gotta blunt it up. Shit. Okay, I got it. You got it? You got it. You got it. I got it. You got it. I got it. You sure you got it? Yep, I'm positive. No, wait! Yeah. <laughs> so, now we got our piece cut, and now we have the, cl the clips that we have from Walmart. Everything in this tutorial is Walmart bought except for the wig base. Yeah. Try to get a pretty big clip so that way you can get in there, and then you can probably glue it down after words and everything's braided. I'll hold the yep. top of it. Okay, thank you. Stop. Stop. Tangling. This is why I'm working with rope instead of hair, because this would have been a mess. Yeah. Which, that was my original idea, was use extensions and just buy them. And then just kind of tear, like, cut it off and just glue it and braid it together. Is that right? That's right. Oh, here it is, my favorite one. I feel like we're about to play double dutch. Well, it's triple dutch in this instance. We're like... <laughs> wow. Thank you. 
Okay, so now that you have your braids done and you have your wig, and after you paint your clips, now it's our time to start implanting them into the wig. So instead of having to glue the thing into the wig, because if something happens, you're going to be wasting a perfectly good wig, what I recommend is uh, clipping it in there, using the stronger clips on top and the um, weaker ones at the bottom to kind of hold everything to get the bottom and then secure at the top so it doesn't go anywhere. See, I'm shaking it and I'm holding it up and it's not going anywhere. Make sure to put it in between the uh, uh, certain parts of where the wig's held, like here. I don't know what this part's called, but this thingy. God, I'm so dumb. Uh, make sure it hits a lot of parts and that everything's in there so it can have a secure hold. Uh, same thing at the bottom, make sure it uh, gets everything. And you're about to see what I'm doing the second part so I can kind of demonstrate what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so same thing. Over here. Make sure when you do this, after you've already have it in there, uh, go up underneath. And oh, come on, 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 come on. Make sure to make sure to get it all the way over to the very end and clip it in and smooth it in there. Take the second clip. Put it over here. So that's pretty much everything we did to make Mina's braids. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I really hope you help it. Uh, I really hope it helped all you homestuck cosplayers out there who want to cosplay as Mina. Uh, this was a very uh, hard but easy thing to do. It was easy to braid, but it was definitely a two-person thing. So definitely gonna need some help with the braiding stuff. Um, I will be finished painting these. I know the blue is starting to come through. I see it in the mirror and I see it on my camera. I will be repainting these since I did this like 2 o'clock in the morning when I was watching Sword Art Online with uh, Lincoln. Uh, I'll definitely have this done before the Homestuck meetup that we're going to be hosting. We haven't set a date, but uh, it's going to be in Pocosin, so if you're in the York County, Virginia area, then please, please come down. It'll be really cool. Uh, or note me on Tumblr or Facebook or YouTube or DeviantArt. DeviantArt's mostly where I reside, not really Tumblr, so that's the best place to, con place to contact me, but if anything else works if needed. Uh, but we'll be host- I don't know when we're gonna be hosting it since Lincoln is in Missouri right now. She has left me all alone in Mel Gibsonville. <sighs> so, I really owe her a lot for helping me out with this, um, uh, tutorial. If it wasn't for her, this probably wouldn't have been done. I probably would have had myself tangled up in all this rope. 
Uh, since it is Geek Week, I will be uploading more videos. I'll be uploading one video for every day of the week until Geek Week is over, and then I go back to my normal life and do grown-up stuff. Fun. Since today's was a tutorial on how to do Mina's Pixie's braids, tomorrow is going to be a funny video. It's going to be me and Lincoln cosplaying as Car Cat and Vershka baking cookies. It's going to be hilarious. There's going to be a makeup tutorial on how to do Conan from Naruto. Then the next one's going to be a cosplay spotlight on Mina Pixies. And uh, I'll also have a wig tutorial on how to do Makina Hoshimura from Corpse Princess. And, and one of the cosplay spotlight and a skit. I think that's it. And I think that's all I'll pretty much be doing for Geek Week. I have a whole lot of videos already edited and done, so all I have to do is just upload them and send them I have to film. I hope you guys are enjoying Geek Week. I really hope this helped you guys out. Stay tuned for more videos, and I will talk to you guys later. Stay cool now. Bye-bye! It's time to go freak out my cat. Hey, Chloe. Hey. What's up? No, don't look. What? Yeah, I know, I know. It's it's weird, isn't it? I, I know. <laughs> She's looking at the board. Hey, it's still me. It's me, Mina. Mamma Mia.